Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. Today we are going to work on an arrangement for a reception. And so um, we're going to use faux flowers, but we're going to use fresh foliage. And so let me show you what we're going to start out with. I'm going to slide these over and we are going to start out with a this is just a charger. So a charger is often a plate that goes under your china or under your plates on your dining room table. And so what we're going to do is we place just a fresh block of floral foam that has been soaked in water on top of our charger and I am going to tape it on. Now this arrangement is going to be placed on a buffet table. Now there are two different ways you can place it on a buffet table. Um, you can place it either on top of an urn, which I'll show you with this arrangement, or this one is probably going to go on a gold, on a gold stand. But I'm going to show you how that's going to work. I'm taking my um, my waterproof tape and I am just coming around that charger and I'm just taping that foam into place so it's not going anywhere. So it will just sit right on top of this urn and then the flowers will come on top. This can actually just go in the cooler and um, the greenery is going to stay fresh until we use it. We're actually gonna use this in two different places this week. We're going to use it for a, um, a party tomorrow for a luncheon. We are going to rearrange it, add fresh foliage if we need to, and it's going to be used again at a wedding. So we are excited to be able to um, use it for two different events. So let me show you this gold stand. I'm not going to arrange it on the gold stand. So for the wedding, it will be used on this, on this urn, okay? For the luncheon, it is going to be used on top of a gold stand like this, it'll be placed just right on top. Just like that. And so I'll show you in the end exactly what that looks like. But I kind of wanted to show you how this one arrangement can be used in two different ways. Um, and I will photograph that for you so that you have an idea of what that's going to look like. Okay, so I have the fresh floral foam. I'm gonna grab my Lazy Susan because it it helps to, to turn this container. So if you don't have a Lazy Susan as a floral designer, get one. Um, I didn't have one for years and years and years. And one of our followers said, get a Lazy Susan. Quit turning that arrangement. And let me just say, it was a great thing. I'm so thankful that, that I got a Lazy Susan because it works wonderful. Okay, I'm going to move this urn. I'm going to start out with a little bit of leather leaf. So here is our leather leaf foliage. Our leather leaf comes in these plastic bags that keep it really wet and fresh for us, which is so nice. I'm going to take my floral knife and I'm going to cut the band that's holding the foliage. Lay this to the side. And what I'm going to do is come all the way around in this foam with this leather leaf foliage. It's just covering our mechanics. Now, personally, when using faux flowers, I really like to use fresh greenery. I just think fresh greenery really breathes life into faux flowers. Um, now, if you have beautiful artificial greenery, please feel free to use it. Um, but I really like using fresh greenery. So I'm just taking that leather and going all the way around. It's helping me to cover that foam and to cover that container um, because we don't want the container really to show at all. So there, there is our greenery, our leather leaf. 
Next we're going to come in with a little bit of Parfolia eucalyptus. So Parfolia is some of the prettiest eucalyptus I believe um, I've ever had the opportunity to work with. It drips really well. It's just really, really pretty stuff. Um, so I'm going to take this eucalyptus and I'm going to break it into pieces and just tuck it right in. And we're going to go all the way around in this container. And it gives us a lot of movement, which I love. It's just really pretty. Now, as a florist, this is my first year ever, ever really taking and using um, faux flowers and greenery and actually renting flowers for events. Um, and I'm going to tell you guys, it really has been, it's really been nice. Um, these flowers um, for this event, this for this one, they didn't have a really large floral budget. Um, they didn't have a lot of money for their um, for flowers, but they really wanted something pretty. So when they came to me saying, we don't have a large budget, what can you do for this budget? I asked, what would you think about renting um, faux flowers? And they said, that would be great. We would love that. And so that's how um, this event came about. Um, and I sent them pictures of kind of what I had in mind and they were they were all for it So they were so excited to be able to have that opportunity now For the wedding this weekend this bride came to me um, And asked she had her bouquet already ordered she ordered a faux bride, bridal bouquet and bridesmaids bouquet and so she wanted to match her bouquets to all of her wedding flowers. Well, that's kind of difficult. Faux flowers and fresh flowers just don't look the same. So I asked her, what would she think about renting um, faux flowers? And she's, she thought that was a fantastic idea. And so I had the opportunity to rent her her flowers also. Um, and then, um, Earlier in the month, I guess maybe it was even August, we actually have rented these one other time. So, and we've just taken and added more blooms and more colors to these flowers, so it worked out perfect. Um, so, I have greened out the entire arrangement. So, it's really pretty, right? It's got lots of pretty um, eucalyptus, so, so pretty. Next, we're going to come in with some of our faux blooms. Now, the blooms that we have include orange like a pretty orange color a peachy color some maroons um, burnt orange um, and then white sunflowers and so and then green hydrangeas so we're going to start out with our green hydrangeas first and we're going to of course these are both so I'm, you're not going to see me cutting them much um, i'm just pushing these right down in to that fresh floral foam now the reason I decided to use fresh floral foam instead of um, artificial or hard styrofoam is because I need my greenery to stay pretty for, um, for the wedding also. So if I add it to fresh floral foam and add water to it, my greenery will stay pretty until this weekend. So it works great. And when using and renting flowers, I don't necessarily glue them in because I'm gonna want to take them apart. So that's the reason we're not gluing anything in. So I have my hydrangeas all the way around in that container. Next, we're going to come in with some, some of these beautiful burnt orange peonies. And so we're just gonna nestle some of those into this foam. And we're just going all the way around with our color.
And I love that this has a little bit of that um, burgundy. Okay. All right, there's our peonies. Tuck one more. Okay, so there's our peonies in that arrangement. Next, we're gonna come in with these beautiful peach colored roses. I have a couple of those. So we're gonna tuck some of those in. And then these are, I love these. These are orange carnations, a beautiful orange carnation, which is perfect for these autumn colors. And now we're gonna come in with some burgundy. So I have some burgundy roses that are kind of short we're going to tuck those throughout. Now, if you need to add some length to those roses, you certainly can. And what you would do is just use a wood pick to add some length and give it some height. And then this was a burgundy mom, like a pom-pom type of mom. And that puts some length on that stem and helps us to have a little bit more height in that arrangement. Now, you can add two of those stems if you need to, to make it, um, to make it longer. And then it ha I have a little bit of um, filler flower from one of those bushes. And then these pretty sunflowers. So this was in the bridal bouquet, these pretty white sunflowers. So we're gonna tuck a few of those in here. Again, this will be used for the wedding also, so it works out perfectly. That we were able to rent it twice this week, which is fantastic. So I'm taking um, this sunflower and I'm adding it to a wood pick and giving us just a little more height so we can put a little height up here in the top. That pretty white sunflower. And I'm gonna go ahead and add these fall um, filler flower picks. All right, so there are our flowers in this arrangement. So you see it's pretty all the way around. Next, to give us some height, I'm gonna take a little bit of pompous plumes. So this is a pompous grass plume. Um, here in Mississippi, they just grow in people's, um, in, uh, in people's yards and different places. It's just ornamental grass, but this is the plume that comes out of the top of the grass. Now this is going to give us some height in this arrangement. The wonderful part is, is it's a dried material, and so it lasts beautifully. Um, it'll last a really long time, and it's really fun. It's kind of a fun filler flower, I think, or a fun little pop of something tucked into this bouquet. And get it in that phone. I'm not going to use that one. So there you have it. There is our arrangement that we will take for a luncheon tomorrow. Again, this will be placed on top of a container. I'm going to place it on the urn just so that you can see it. Um, it's going to be too tall. You won't see the top, but at least you'll get an idea of what it looks like. So this will be placed, whoop, I'm spilling a little water. It'll be placed right up there on that container, and it's pretty all the way around. Now, in order to soften those edges, I'm going to take just a little bit more of our eucalyptus, and I am going to just pop it right into that foam. And what it's going to do is just soften those edges all the way around so it doesn't look like it's sitting just on top of the container. It looks like it's dropped down into the container. But this makes it so easy to be able to transport 
and move. When I have it on just a tray like this, it's very easy to transport. It doesn't have, it's okay that it's tall um, because it's just going to sit in one of my um, delivery trays. But see how easy that is to move. It's not very heavy, yet it's so very pretty. Guys, Thank you so much for being here. If you have any questions about how we put this together or any questions about anything that we do here at our shop, you know, don't hesitate to ask. You can put that in the comments below or you can send us a message over on Messenger through Facebook if you would like. Um, I am so thankful you're here. If you have any questions, please let us know. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please be sure to do that. Um, just hit that little subscribe button down below, and if you hit that bell, it'll give you notifications for when we have a new video. Guys, y'all have a wonderful day. We'll see you real soon.